So that that increase in revenue as a result of this this plan will move the needle on growth is the idea. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to move the needle on growth. We're going to widen the base that we're going to be able to tax because we're going to get rid of the deductions. And we think that is a much fairer tax plan for everyone. Look, I know that you want to get rid of all of the deductions, but this is going to get marked up, right? I guess, you know, when you look at your prior life, President of Goldman Sachs, and, and, and how long it took you to do things, right? You, you make a decision on something, and it probably happens like a few minutes later, right? Now you're, you're working in government. It's a little different, isn't it? It's a little bit different, but look, we believe we've got a great plan. As you know, we met with House and Senate leadership a couple nights ago. Uh, we all are on the same are on the same plan. We're working together. We're working effectively. We've got commitment from everyone on the Hill to work I I as effectively as we can. There's going to be some changes. We've said that. We said we're we're in a process over the next 30, 45 days to come up with a plan that we all agree with. We met with a bunch of conservative th thought leaders yesterday. We met with Gro Grover Norquist and his group. We met with Cato. We met with Heritage. We met with all those groups yesterday. We're taking input from all. All of the groups to, un to understand what their concerns are with our tax plan. We want to get this right. We want to deliver a tax bill day one that we think has universal support out there. Yeah, look, it's great that you're on this listening tour because you're embarking on one of the most historic things that we've seen in a long time. Tax reform hasn't done, been done in 30 years. Let me ask you this, Gary, because you talked a lot about the incentive to have companies move money from overseas to the U.S. When I sat down with President Trump two weeks ago, he said, you know, you keep saying there's two and a half trillion dollars overseas, try more like five trillion dollars. So in order to get that money to move from overseas back into the U.S., you haven't really set a, 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 a tax rate on that. Is it 10 percent or is that just speculation? Look, Maria, we, we've talked to many of the large corporations and businesses that have money trapped overseas. They have all made pledges to us to bring money back. We have talked to them where, where it gets tough for them to bring it back on rate. We're continuously having those dialogues. We are going to tax that money as high as we possibly can, but make sure it all comes back. All right, That's so what we're trying to get done. You want to get that money back, and you want to have it attractive. Certainly from 35% to 10%, you would think that CEOs are going to say, you know what? Let me let me uh, put this plant in the U.S. Given I yeah, can move this money. Absolutely. You know, if it's 10 percent or if it's 8 percent or if it's 12 percent, you know, we want that money back. No, that money will be highly stimulative to come back to the United States. We know from history, if that money doesn't come back to the United States, it gets invested overseas. We don't want that money invested overseas. We want that money invested in the United States. We want that money put it in, into into businesses. We want, as you said, people will build manufacturing facilities. When they build manufacturing facilities, it's workers to build the facilities, but more importantly, it's, it's workers to man the facilities, and those will be great paying jobs for American workers. So, Gary, are you looking at health care and tax reform then sort of side by side at this point? You know, the president was very clear we have to do health care first because it's going to save us a trillion dollars once we overturn the Obamacare taxes. Now we're, we're hearing tax reform sort of taking precedence. What, what, it, what is the plan? So, Maria, look, we'd love to get health care done first, and there is a team working on health care. In fact, the vice president is spending an enormous amount of time on health care. Director Mulvaney is spending time. Others in the White House are spending time. Uh, Speaker Ryan was talking about it last night as well. We feel like we're very close to a health care bill, and, and hopefully that gets done you know, over the weekend or next, next week, most likely next week. Um, if that doesn't get done, and I, and I don't think, and I think it will get done, we have also put in the tax plan the repeal of the 3.8 percent additional Obamacare tax on capital gains That's and dividends. That's a big deal. Because it is a big deal. Yeah. We know that capital investment drives jobs and drives the economy. We are going to drive jobs and drive the economy. Yeah, we're watching it happen right now. Gary, it's great to have you on the program this morning. Thanks for walking us through it. Thanks, Maria. We'll see you soon. Gary Cohen at the White House this morning. Be sure to